mentioned don't get me started with I have to take this first one what an absolute banger of a goal in the top corner obviously he's got plenty of experience Casemiro but that's what they needed 15 minutes into the game they needed to score that first one brother well, Nigel, this is the weak side here that Nacho coming out of the weak side we see a lot of goals like this especially in England and on a play for him, he just got to hit the target, hit it pure. He does that 2 0 match instead of getting rolling early in this one. They did, but then uh, cue the circus music because wow. they're going to give up a goal that they should be able to manage in this point. It's a set piece, but I don't want to take anything away from that finish by Alcanus. Wow. Yeah, Bruno Fernandes will get one back with the help of a deflection by Justin. He just doesn't hit the ball, attack the ball, take it on the face, but he doesn't and uh, gets deflected to the goal. Uh, 39th minute, this one gets shoved across. It's Casemiro with the header. He kind of just bobbles around and it comes back to him. It's ball that remote control to Casemiro and then he slams it in uh, for 4-1. Not to be outdone though, right before halftime. <laughs> so how does that fall right to Connor Cody, captain for Leicester, says thank you very much. I would have loved to have seen that type of space when I was a center back back in the day, but uh, he puts it away 4-2, to two, gives Leicester a little bit of a chance. Yeah, another poor goal for Manchester United to give away, but then this one there, he needed his goal, six the goalkeeper well. Bruno Fernandes, I've done that a few times in training. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yes, I guess I have actually. Mm -hmm. You're not close to my attention. <laughs> Great goal by Bruno Fernandes. So, record day at the office for Manchester United.